Hello and welcome to this week's video. I uh, thought I'd do a little voiceover. So Zora has been back in work now for about two and a bit weeks. Uh, we got the all clear from the vet. She had an injury in the field and it was so boring because she wasn't really lame but she had this like swelling and so we had loads of investigation done and nothing really came of it other than she was sound and the swelling went away so we have been cracking back on so as you can see I've been doing some riding around on the concrete my favorite on the young ones a little bit of long lining to get her back fit again uh, she has come back a bit of a different horse to the one that I broke in previously she um, is a bit sharper and a bit more reactive um so i initially just took her down to the arena and yeah like i say worked her on the long lines and that kind of thing and she was just quite anxious she'd kind of call sometimes and you can see she's working really nicely here but as soon as there are some mares turned out in that field that you can see um as she's coming around now up above her now and every now and again they turn up and then disappear again so I did have a couple of rides that were not so nice you can see she shakes her head a little bit here it's a little bit of her being a bit anxious um so I the vet had said to not do too much lunging so I'd wanted to get her back going see there you can see them in the background and she just shook her head a bit and she was just a bit brighter than she previously was a bit spooky a bit tricky and I kind of I, ju I just misread the situation I had wanted to get back on and get going again and it wasn't really right for her it wasn't quite what I should have been doing you can see she's kind of goes a bit fast a bit slow a bit tight she's kind of going around with this not very positive frame and part of me was like I'll just kind of go through it and keep riding her and she'll get a bit tired and she didn't do anything too drastic but at the same time it wasn't very positive for her you know it could have been could have been nicer first couple of experiences back in the arena and I don't think I've done her any harm by doing it but equally it probably wasn't the most brilliant start to her ridden career again in this year you see she just kind of trucks herself around a bit and well I don't want her to feel that way in her body like she throws her legs around and she looks great but it's not really what she should be doing at this point I'd like her to be much more soft and relaxed and it was a bit hairy you know I felt a bit scared and I, I should have just well I should have gone back a step and I did after this day I did go back a step massively so here it did go quite wrong um the mares had suddenly just disappeared and I just patted her and she went nope thanks too worried too anxious too tight and she's such a sweet girl and she just carried on and it does actually make me a bit upset watching this because I just think bloody hell Miriam like you ride young horses all the time and you just didn't see that she was telling you that she felt a bit worried and like I didn't do the wrong thing in the sense of I didn't tell her off or anything like that I just carried on and just gave her a little sweet ride round and made sure she was feeling comfortable but she was she was a bit anxious and I should have gone back a few steps before getting to this step um, and you see as where she was worried I just give her a little stroke but she was just feeling a bit anxious a bit separation anxiety and that um, isn't such a positive thing and the canter you can see it's just up and down it's not confident it's not taking me forwards and yeah the short neck and the tight back it's not how a young horse should be going around and I want to be honest with you guys because everybody gets it a bit wrong and like even there like she really was like I'm not having a great time so that's just testament, testament really to her good nature because she could have just dumped me on the floor and told me to sod right off but she uh kept going and let me let me keep trying to help her a little bit so yeah that was um day one back in the arena so we went back a few steps we went back to the groundwork so this was after a few days of being in the arena with no tack, just in the rope in the halter, working on helping her feel a better way in her body. 
Um, you can see here that she's much, much more settled. Um, she was able to work with some transitions and so I had the, the tack with the rope halter over the top just to encourage her to soften on her own without sort of any long lines or anything to encourage her around. I wanted her to find this posture where she relaxes her neck down because that's the posture where you know she's soft and, and natural in her body. Um, you can see she finds it easier to find in the walk so when she comes down to walk I allow her to feel that posture and then I ask her to go to trot again. And this was the result. This was us walking and this is what I should have had the first time I rode her back in the arena and well isn't it nice to see her looking so nice and soft and gentle in her body and look how much slower she's going. The steps are more considered. It's It did feel a bit too slow. <laughs> see I'm a bit hunched over where I'm trying to create the push from the trot on my own um, but the neck is out and she was breathing and sneezing and I just literally had a little trit trot around so there's quite a few days between that first day and this day when I was ground working her on my own I didn't have anybody um, to video and it's always bad when you put your phone on the fence it never looks quite right so yeah just really pleased with how different she was her reaction to the horses being out in the field was very different and she was just completely more with me and paying far more attention to what I wanted her to do and paying more attention to her own body and this actually this was interesting so this was Megan was stood in the middle of the arena um and she came around and she'd had a little spook at her so I just worked a lot crossing over in front of Megan making sure that every time I crossed over that I gave her a little rub on the neck and made her feel super comfortable and confident and I also got Megan to move up the arena so that I trotted around her and then down and further away from her and I think this was a little bit Zora feeling again a bit this tension a bit this distraction although it was so much better it was there's she's four and she's still not going to be suddenly solved sadly there's no magic fix so um yeah we just worked through it slowly and gradually and like I said I asked Megan to move up and down the arena so that the pressure that Zora was you can see she a little bit's got her eye on Megan out of her right eye there so it's just important that I kept her really confident and um put put Megan use Megan like a bit of a pressure something to spook at in different areas in the arena so really positive session that day because it was it was a hard thing to work through having her spooking at somebody in the middle didn't get a video of her doing it too many times but she did do it quite a couple of different times where you can see here she's just a little bit worried I don't particularly know why but um I just keep her going forward and keep praising her when she does what I want her to do and yeah, it got loads and loads better. Good girl. A bit of patchy steering there. <laughs> but you can see when she goes a bit less confident, she goes a bit slow. Um, and that was something I worked a lot on. So I worked on pushing her on, bringing her back, pushing her on, bringing her back. And then there I could feel the tension was growing a little bit, so I just turned the hind leg. I'm going to explain a bit more about that later, because I know a lot of people ask me about the groundwork. And then I could carry on, and she was lovely and relaxed. So I used that pattern that we use in the groundwork, then in the ridden work, and then it helps bring that relaxation back into her body. So, yeah. We tried, uh, we were doing some groundwork with Zora, um, I wanted to work her with different pressures in the arena so this is a bit complicated but we use different pressures so the tarpaulin, the bag on a stick, the flag to be a metaphor for pressure so anything that a horse would feel pressure from we use these different things to um, encourage them to feel a different way about pressure to help them understand a better way to react to pressure it's not to desensitize them so what I was doing was I was encouraging her to go forwards around the three quarters of the circle and then as she was coming close to the tarpaulin 
I allow her to go slower and so she understands that then the tarpaulin is a place to find rest. Um, this is a bit complicated and if you guys want more information and someone who's really good at explaining it then please go and look up Tristan Tucker. He uh, is the guy that trained Claire who I train with and uh, he's probably the best guy to explain it. Um, so then this was the most recent video. So I'm just asking Zora to move her body through the ground pattern. So I put my hand on her body where my leg would go and I bend her neck towards me and push the hind leg away. And you can see she finds the rest down in the in the neck. She finds a relaxed posture that I was talking about before. Um, so then that is what I can then do when I feel she becomes a bit negative in her posture or a bit tense. I can just say to her, hey, do you remember when I turned your body when you were stood on the ground, when I was stood on the ground and you felt lovely and relaxed? Let's try that when I'm sat up on board. And then the same thing here, when I was working her on the end of the rope, I can then, what will I do here in a moment? I then here, I step towards her hind leg and you see the black hind leg then crosses underneath. And she finds this restful posture here. She's lovely and neutral in the neck. She could be more down in the neck, but this is the kind of thing we're working towards. And I don't know if you guys remember one of my first videos when I was sending her out on the rope. She was like wild beast leaping through the air. So now I just allow her to find this lovely soft walk. And then I ask her a little bit to find the trot. So I'm just encouraging her all the time to find this restful posture on her own. You can see she gets a bit head shaky and a little bit not so positive. So then again here I just take a turning the hind leg. I put the posture back to where I want it to be. And that was really positive. Um, and here I am skipping forward a bit to when I was getting on. So I've also taught her to approach the block. Um, and you'll see in a moment, I say there, she learned that yesterday. Um, so as I got on, she walked off. So I just asked her to back up a few steps. And then I went and I did it again. This is really important. If your young horse gives you the answer that you don't want, so go back and repeat it. Don't punish them. Just be boring. And go back and repeat the same thing again and make it positive. Don't repeat it so that it's negative. Again here you can see I literally just lift my hand, encourage her to step forward and then I just go a little slower here, foot in, I wait and then I swing my leg over and there she then waits really perfectly for me to ask her to move. So this was, yeah, like I say, a few days ago. The weather has been so peculiar. One day sunny, one day windy, one day raining. And I am just so pleased with her. I watched these videos back and I definitely just made her go a little bit too quick in the trot. Um, because she had been feeling a bit slow in the trot and a bit kind of backward, I'd been working on her going forward. So then obviously then you're not going to strike the balance perfectly but like I've said before I'm only human and there were some really really nice bits but just overall she was just so much happier she wasn't calling for the mares in the field because well they aren't there anymore actually which is really handy but there are horses going in and out of that field so it's not like she's uh it's particularly different and I do find in this arena it's quite hard because it's not near the yard it's on its own um, whoever built the yard didn't think of that, but there we are. Um, and so they do sometimes feel a bit anxious, but it's just nice here, you know. She's just starting to think forward and actually just carry me around the arena. And like I said, it did get a little bit fast, but just a very different picture. Um, a much happier little horse and a much happier Miriam. You can see she's pushing me out the saddle, so I'm able, able to actually sit up rather than look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. But yeah, here you can see it's just getting a little bit too quick sometimes. And I think I'm trying to channel my inner European rider. And you see these guys at these uh, these auctions and stuff riding the young ones around. And they go flying around 100 mile an hour. But I've got to remember that that isn't actually necessarily a positive thing. 
uh, some nice little walk truck transitions and yeah she's feeling really lovely so lovely in fact I felt like I could have a little canter I haven't had a canter since that first day in the red saddle pad that you saw where she was like a humpy bumpy weirdo and the canter was so different it was so much slower and much more balanced she has got incredible balance for a young horse like she just goes around the corners like she's been doing it all her life so yeah, really pleased, really pleased with her. And there you can see she just backs herself off slightly on the turn. Um, just, yeah, really great. And nice to feel her feeling forward rather than feeling stuck down like I am having to push water up a hill. Um, this second transition was actually lovely. Just plops into canter, really smooth. And still you can see she's really unbalanced and her neck goes a bit funny sometimes. But actually the balance around the circle is pretty good just through the transition sometimes she's a bit like forehand hind leg forehand hind leg that's okay I just give her a rub on the neck and keep her going forward and you can see here she loses her balance a bit in the downward transition and I just stay sitting for a moment and then ask her to work forwards um yeah she's just she's just such a sweet little horse and I'm glad that she forgave me for my ignorance at the beginning and I'm really really pleased with how she's going. I hope you guys can see some positive progress in her. So that is the end of today's video. Zora, put your ears forward. Uh, I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something about lovely Zora. She's certainly um, living up to everything I hoped she would be. Zora <laughs> creeping towards Lily. Uh, I will see you guys next time. And thanks again for watching. Bye for now.